Kevin Sabet is the author of Reefer Sanity, Seven Great Myths About Marijuana. He joins us today to talk about the book and the marijuana debate. Kevin, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Kevin, why does marijuana legalization pose a risk to public health and public safety? Well, I think one of the things that people don't understand is today's marijuana is not the marijuana of the 60s, 70s, or 80s. It's uh, five to 15 times stronger. It can even be upwards of over 90% pure with these new waxes that are available. So I think a lot of baby boomers experience with pot, you know, a couple times in the dorm room, they don't correspond to what kids are actually experiencing today. And if you talk to the American Medical Association, the American Society of Addiction Medicine, the ER Doctors Association, on and on, they all say that today's high potency marijuana posts an increased threat to health and safety than it really ever has before. And so the problem with legalization is that we essentially would be creating a new tobacco industry. Um, this is an industry that's going to target kids. You know, if you're an addict, that means you started when you're young. And these industries rely on addicts and heavy users. And the marijuana industry now is blowing up. It's becoming a billion dollar industry with pro uh, sort of uh, legalization advocates that are really helping prop up an industry. Uh, they're helping prop up these private industries groups and these fundraising groups um, and it's become a it's become a real issue especially in Colorado as it emerges so one of the uh, states that you mentioned is Colorado which uh, which has taken this on head-on what do we know from that example so far have we been able to learn any lessons about what legalization has meant well a couple of things actually Colorado has had de facto legalization since around 2008 or 2009 when they opened more marijuana stores for example in Denver than all Starbucks or McDonald's. Um, and that's because they did it under the guise of medicine. And if you were a 25-year-old kid with a pulse, you got a medical card, and you had a bad back or something, no one really checked, um, you're able to get marijuana. And there's now research after five years, now that we're learning, showing the deleterious effects, so showing the fact that you have more kids now in treatment than you did before, that's showing the fact that you have more kids using than you did before. Um, more car crashes, actually, a new peer-reviewed study is coming out in a few months about the car crashes rate in Colorado uh, way out, uh, uh, you know, doing the national rate. Um, we also know since legalization started in earnest some of the negative things that have happened. Uh, for example, a lot of people don't know there are two deaths now tied with marijuana as a result of edibles. These are these cookies, candy, sodas people are getting their hands on. They don't realize how strong they are. They take all of it at once, for example, rather than maybe pace it you know, over time or something. And already a 19-year-old exchange student fell off a balcony. He had nothing else in his system other than this edible, and his friends clearly state that he had just taken it. Um, and so does the coroner. You have uh, a husband, a domestic violence dispute caused by the psychosis as a result of his marijuana edible uh, intake that ended up, uh, unfortunately, he killed his wife. And so we're seeing these things happen now. And I think a lot of people are realizing that legalization in practice is a lot scarier than legalization in theory. That, you know, it's one thing to say, hey, let's try something new. Maybe we'll get some tax revenue, whatever. What's the big deal about pot? It's a very different thing. When it actually happens, it means a pot shop in your backyard mass advertising and commercialization, and greater health harms. So your book takes on these seven myths. I want to ask you about one of them. Sure. Is marijuana addictive? No, no doubt that it is. Every ma major medical and scientific review has shown that it is. About one in out of every six kids who try marijuana will become addicted to it. That's the latest research that we have. It's about the same rate as alcohol. If you start when you're an adult, it's about one in 10 or one in 11. Uh, that's because the adolescent brain is essentially under construction until age 30. And so you're much more vulnerable to addiction as a, as a young person. But yeah, I mean, there are more kids in treatment for marijuana today uh, than all other drugs, including alcohol combined. So uh, you look at the treatment data, you look at you, you know, the, the different studies that have been done. Uh, it is uncontroversial to say it's addictive. Unfortunately, a lot of the American people People have not seen that and there's a huge divide between the public's understanding misunderstanding and the scientific understanding about marijuana the book is called reef for sanity Kevin thanks for joining us today thanks for having me